hi, happy 2nd of December. So welcome back to my advent calendar filled with yoga, meditation, breath work, and a whole lot of goodness. So if you're back for day two, clearly you enjoyed day one, which makes me very, very happy. I'm hoping that throughout the next 24 days, we can find some more calm and really, really go into this festive season with a reservoir of calm to get us through what is a busy time at the best of times. And particularly this year, it maybe isn't what we all had in mind. But together, over the next 24 days, we are going to work on our body and our mind to get us through this festive season. So welcome to day two. If you've never met me before, if you're hopping in on day two and you didn't do day one, don't worry about it. That's absolutely fine. My name is Naomi and I'm a yoga meditation teacher. And today we are going to be working on some supine hip opening poses or hip stretches. So supine just simply means laying down on the ground. So we're going to do all of this laying on our backs. So if you are in bed, good news, you can stay there. If you do have a yoga mat nearby, then do hop onto your yoga mat. You might find it slightly easier for some of the poses, but you're more than welcome to do this one laying in bed if you wish. It's going to be really nice and gentle, accessible. Listen to your body, particularly the knees, as we come into hip opening poses. As we open the hips, if we have any tightness in the hips, sometimes it can translate to the knees if we push our bodies too far. So really, really just listen to your body today and go into all of the poses listening and accepting where your body is at today. So lay down onto your back. It's all good from here. Lay down on your back, just settle in. And we're gonna take the soles of the feet together, the knees out to the side. It's coming into Supta Baddha Konasana, our supine bound angle pose. Take the hands to the belly if you wish, or to the side of the body if you prefer. Begin to breathe in and out through the nose. So trying to breathe in and out through the nose throughout all of our yoga practices. Finding that relaxing, really restorative breath. Just settling in. We're gonna be here for just over five minutes, heading towards 10 minutes. Finding some release in our lower body and our hips, particularly good if you've been working from home today. Blink open the eyes if you wish or keep them closed for the whole sequence. The choice is yours. Bring the knees together, just support the outside of the thighs with the hands and take the feet so they're hip width apart. And then lift the right leg, take the right ankle onto the left thigh, connect the hands to each thigh. Close the eyes again if you choose and breathe into your hips. So if you're new to yoga, that might feel an odd sensation. That might feel, feel an odd phrase to use. Breathe into your hips. I know your lungs aren't in your hips. Don't worry. All I mean is direct your breath down to the base of your lungs. Really begin to expand all the way into your belly to find some release in this pose. And then keeping the legs as they are, just bring the hands so they're a little bit further away from the body, palms pressing down and gently releasing the legs over to the left. We're taking a gentle spinal twist, really making sure that the right shoulder stays down on the earth. Take a couple of cycles of breath. If you wish, you can gaze over that right shoulder. So take the right ear to the ground if that feels good. Inhale all the way to center. And then switch sides, place the right foot down, take the left ankle onto the thigh, take a hand to each thigh, gently just almost push away. We're not pushing hard, but we're just creating length in the spine. Breathe in and out through the nose and enjoy this release. Just allow yourself to soften, allow the shoulder blades to melt into the mat, allow those hips to release, to rotate and just move. Gently take the hands out to the side, palms pressed down, left shoulder grounds, take your spinal twist, so release the legs to the right. Keep that left knee heading towards the sky just to keep that stretch in the outer and inner thigh of that left leg. Paying attention to your knees as we discussed. 
gently bring yourself back to center, beautiful. Just uncross the legs. And then take the left foot either to the mat, or if you're feeling quite relaxed, quite flexible today, maybe extend that left leg fully away. Take the right hand to the right knee, and then lift the chest a touch. Take your left hand to either your ankle or your foot or somewhere where you can just take a gentle grasp of your lower leg. And then we're going to begin to open that knee out so the right knee moves over to the right, and the foot of that right leg comes towards the torso. Don't force it. Just gently then begin to move side to side with that hip. Find some opening. So sometimes this pose is called cradle the baby. You can imagine that you've got a little baby between your hands. You're moving it side to side. So that's the kind of movement that you're looking for. Just finding a little bit of space in the hips. A little bit of movement there. Really nice. And then gently just bend into that left leg if you haven't already. Take the left foot to the mat, come back to that opening where we've got the right ankle on the left thigh. Pick up the left thigh and take a hold behind it. That might be enough. If you want to work a little bit more, draw it in and press the right thigh away with the right elbow. Just create some space there in that hip. Really nice. Just release the hands, thread the legs so they stack one on top of another, so you're sitting very ladylike basically, and then gently just draw the legs in towards the chest. You're gonna get gentle stretch through the outer hip, nothing too intense, just a gentle release of that outer thigh, outer hip, outer glute. And then switch sides, lengthen right leg away. Draw left knee into left hand. Left, left foot comes into right hand. It would help if I could ever get my left and right correct. Flex that left foot so it's strong, the ankle is fixed. That helps protect the knee. It ensures that the knee isn't taking any rotation from the ankle. Move the hip side to side again, coming into our cradle the baby pose on the other side. If you're really tight, bend that right knee. It just decreases that stretch in the lower body a little bit. You might find that's a little bit more supportive if maybe you run a lot or you just don't stretch a lot. That's absolutely okay, take that option. Then if you haven't already, bend the right knee, take the side of the left foot to the right thigh, pick up the right thigh, take that thread the needle stretch. And just exhale, allow the shoulder blades to melt into the mat, push away on that left thigh if you wish or don't. Choice is yours, yogi's choice. Find a moment of pause, of relaxation, then remove the hands, slide left leg onto right thighs meet and just gently draw the legs in towards the body. You may not feel much here, that's absolutely fine, don't worry. And then just gently draw the knees so that they're uncrossed, take the hands to the knees and just circle the knees. So you want the hands, the palms resting onto the kneecaps almost, like little cups resting on the kneecaps. Circle the knees the other way. If you want to try, maybe you rotate the knees in opposite direction, really, really nice for the lower back upper glute massage. If you've been sitting all day, this will feel brilliant for your lower back. And then just gently lengthen the legs away. Take a full body stretch, take the inner thighs together, lengthen through the whole of the body. And then just release the arms alongside the body or take the hands to the belly. Allow the feet to fall out to the side and just take a few cycles of breath here. And then in your own time, roll over onto your right hand side. And gently make your way up to seated, coming all the way up. Just close the eyes, bring the hands together. At the heart center, drop the chin to the chest, blink, open the eyes, allow the light back in and slowly lift the gaze. Thank you for joining me today for the second day of our Advent calendar. I'll be back tomorrow on the 3rd of December for day three. I hope to see you again soon. Subscribe so that you don't miss out. Thank you so much. Namaste.